Hey guys, I'm up here at Bartlett Lake. It's been a couple weeks since I talked to you, gave you a fishing report. We had a really good day today. We've caught 21 bass. Right now we're in, in the spinnerbait fishing. And we're catching some fish, just throwing spinnerbaits into boils. Did you? Spinnerbait, chartreuse and white. Two small blades. Look at that, caught a shad. Oh, yeah, there you go. Look at that. Yep. You got a shad. That's the size of them. Good size, too. Shad. We got the shad, big balls of shad right here close to us. And we're watching the fish chase them. You gotta be pretty close to these shad when they bust to get them. So we'll just kind of hang there. We got the bait here. As soon as they, a school sees them, maybe they'll come up. Did you get another one? Oh, he's dying. Look at somebody's gonna come up and nail that one. That's for sure. Waiting for him to come up again. I'm gonna let mine sink down and slow roll along his lead. There you go. Good idea. Well, look at the balls of shad. They're just black. That's two I got on the spinnerbait, and two earlier. So we only have four fish in the boat right now. Yeah, they do that. They'll chase for a while and then they'll quit, you know, and they'll rest. Then they'll start again. Were you? Well, you know what? When they do that, I can take the drop shot or I can take the brush hog and catch them. <clears throat> oh, there they are coming up right there, John. See them? They're starting again. Let me get mine in. They're on that those balls of shad that are shallow. Long cast. Alright, here we go, our trees. You pull your lure head through the shade. Yeah. They're out there in the middle. Well, these will start busting pretty soon. There's some behind us. Got a little bit of a cloud cover today. Try it. 24? Oh, is there? Sometimes they'll bite on the drop shot. You know, while they're sitting down there waiting to bust, I'll give that a shot. Uh -huh. A couple came up. I'm going to try to get right over and tongue them. I've, I've actually caught them on drop shot before. Oh, right over here, John. 10 o'clock. There's a bite. Got one. I got one. Drop shot. Yeah. Ooh, that's a nice one. Right below him. I let it go down right to the bottom there. Oh, yeah. Look at that. That's a nice one. Good pound and a half fish. Drop shot. Morning dawn on this one. Yeah, they are. It's a little guy, but... You know what? He's healthy. All right, let's let him go. Oh, is it eight now? Oh, wow. So that was like a drop off up there where you were. Yep. We may have to go back up that area because that, that they were they were on the bottom pretty good over that that area. No, I'm I'll really. I could see them out here, you know, the black, big old black spools of, uh... 
Well, there's so many of them out here, schools of shad, that they're just staying. They're just staying right there. All I gotta do is wait for them to come up again and nail them with the drop shot. I've actually done better with drop shots sometimes and then just throwing lures in, you know what? We'll see. Oh, they're coming up up above up there. This way I have a double chance if they drop if they uh, chase the shad in the ball, I could throw it in into them. If not, I'll just drag it on the bottom <laughs> while they're resting. Right. There's another fish. Yep, I got another one. Whoop! Oh! Quick release! <laughs> I would. Yeah, you. All I'm doing is just nose hooking this right now because there doesn't seem to be any trees here. All right, ready? Here we go. See, that one was just laying on the bottom, John. Well, I'm 35 feet of water now. I'm in a big drop off. We're way out too deep now. We'll get back up there. Uh-oh, there they are up behind me now. They're coming up. They seem to be in that 10, 12, 15 feet of water, John, coming up. You know what? They're directly behind us. This drop off really drops off fast, doesn't it? Yeah. Oh yeah, that's a nice fat one. Ooh, John, look at that, that's huge, huge boil. Okay, look at that, that's a nice one. Nice healthy fish. No, I threw it way, way up there. Yeah, I was up on the flat. I was way up on the flat that time. He was up there feeding or just kind of swimming around. Yeah. All right, ready? Okay, right on below you. Okay, let's drop down. That's what we want. They're going to blow up on these here pretty quick. This is only 10 feet deep here. This is how I got this one in 10 foot. This this one was... Oop, I just had a bite. But it was a bluegill. They're going to come up here in a minute. Be ready. Oh, there they are. Oh, you do? They'll hit that. Can you reach those fish throwing it at them? You can't. Yeah, that was just one little ring, but that was a busting shad there. They're shallow, John. They're, they're coming up. Up. I'm showing 23 feet on the back of the boat. So then it gets real shallow as it go up, right? Got a few rods up there, huh? I'll throw up real shallow and see if I, I can get something up there in one of those. Look at the big piles of shad up towards that tree. See them? You know there's some fish up that way. What's, is there really? Yeah, but it's 35 feet deep here. Oh. We want them on the bottom. I'd like to see them in 10, 12. Oh, you're right on them. Do you have your lipless crankbait on? Oh, you got the spoon? Oh, that, that'll nail them. 
Okay, we're trying different things right now. Just drop shot, spinner bait. I caught a couple on spinner bait. I haven't tried my brush hog yet, you know. John's pretty good with a lipless crankbait, so. We're in John's boat today, by the way. He needed to run it. He hasn't run. He's in he's a little rusty, he hasn't fished in since November, October. So I had to dig him out of the dig him out of the garage and watching the channel. This channel is a brand new channel and you can watch us on uh, YouTube or you can watch it on www.fishingwithgarysemft.com. Subscribe to the videos and the website and get a newsletter. Thank you very much. Thank you.